hey guys welcome back to another one of my videos for today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me and i will also be unboxing some new items that i will be using throughout the video so if you guys are interested keep on watching okay so let's start with priming i'm going to be using the new elf poreless putty primer i've heard a lot of good things but i've also heard bad things about this item so i don't know let's give it a try it says apply a thin even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application i'll have to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation so i already moisturized my face um just, just grab a little bit feels pretty soft um it doesn't have like a velvety texture to it it has more like a lotion texture to it i am going to be going in with my fenty foundation do you guys have any uh recommendations on any bbcc creams just because I don't, I mean, I don't do my makeup every day, like for work and stuff. But I kind of want something sheer, not full coverage, just to, you know, make my skin look a little bit better for work. I want, I don't want something too heavy on my face or something, you know, that helps my skin out. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Evian spray just just to um, even it out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Pencil. It has the little pencil up here and a little brush on the other side. So far, this has been my favorite pencil because it's really thin and it works really good for your eyebrows Okay, eyebrows are done. I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer. And I'm not used to doing my makeup sitting down. I prefer doing my makeup standing up. I don't know why. You guys, it has been so windy outside. It's been crazy. It kind of scares me because it like makes this like really loud noise. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but it kind of sounds like an airplane, but it's not an airplane, it's like the wind. And it's scary because I have like a tree right next to this window, but I don't know. It's scary. And then um, today we're gonna go downtown Chicago. I'll try to uh, make a little vlog for you guys, see where exactly we go. We don't know. We don't know exactly where we're going, but we're just gonna go down there, see what's there to do. But then now it's like, it's windy here. Imagine downtown Chicago with a windy city. Um, so we'll see how it goes, hopefully. I don't fly away. 
because it's super windy out. I forgot to use this, but I bought this um, artist mixing palette for my foundation. It's just like a little a mixing palette. You just put your foundation in the little tray and you put the little tray around your your arm or your wrist like that and you just put the foundation there so your foundation doesn't get all over the place but oh well we can use that next time um so oh my god look at what i found at marshall's guys the aurora lights brush set i was originally going to order this online because bh cosmetics was having a sale but um i think it was like spent 40 bucks to get free shipping and I was gonna get two sets of these. I believe they were like 18 bucks. Um, and then I needed to add more and I didn't want anything else and I didn't wanna pay for shipping. So I'm like, I'll just kinda wait and see, you know, what else I can add on there. But I found them at Marshall's for $12.99. So I thought that was amazing. I was so surprised. I was gonna get two sets, but I'm like, I'll just go ahead and get one for now, see how I like them. But it comes with a little bag. How pretty is that? And the brushes are just gorgeous. Um, look at that. You have 10 pieces. And the colors, I mean the color, is just so pretty. So I'm going to be using these today. Also, I um, got some of the Kylie Cosmetic Lippies, the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. But look at the the packaging. It has like like velvet feel to it. And you guys know I'm obsessed with velvet. The only one I got in matte was Ginger. This one right here. And then the rest are these right here oh there you go here they are and I love these colors I got mostly like neutral colors I can swatch them for you guys so I'll be using one of these today I just don't know with what kind of look I'm gonna be going with so this one is commando this is a very pretty nude color as well there's that one this one is in the color heat they smell so good i like how her her liquid lipstick smell sometimes it is a little bit too strong but it goes away this one is heat it's like a burnt orange color there's that one this one is savage and I really like these because her matte ones they are a little bit too drying for my liking but I ordered that matte one because I really like the color look at this one this one is so pretty that is super cute this one is birthday suit there's that one this one would look very pretty with like a darker brown lip liner around your lips that's what I plan to do with this one this one is goals it's more on like the burgundy fish side oh yeah this one is really pretty then the last one is the matte one the ginger one and Kai oh this one is like liquid all over it. Oh that came out ooh, a lot. Okay, we'll just set this one down like that. But there's that one. So these are beautiful colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these off i also got these st ives cleansing wipes they are from marshall's i got them for 2.99 so i haven't tried these yet 
we'll see how they work. They don't smell that good. I thought it was going to have more like an aloe smell to it. But, I mean, they're okay. Took off some makeup. Hmm. Oh well, let's keep on going. I also got ColourPop eyeshadow palette. Ooh, it was like one of those built your own palette. And it came in like this. The eyeshadows are like all over the place. I didn't expect that. I thought they were just gonna come in, like put on the little tray. Look at that. So cool. So they sent me a little sorry we're late. I guess because they took a little bit longer than expected to you send me my stuff. It says, put me on your lips. Lippy stick. Huh. That's cute. It's in the color cookie. The matte lippy. Let's see. Oh. It, oh, it smells good. It's a nice color. Let's try it out. Ooh. Wow, it's very soft. Mmm. Huh. That's cute. Might be using this one. Let's take it off. Here's the little palette where you can just put in your colors in here. It's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the um the colors in the little palette and then I'll be doing an eye look. This is how the eyeshadows come in. In this little packet the packet is so cute and it has the name on the back I am living for the packaging I love ColourPop packaging so then it comes in this little plastic um, like that and then you just go ahead and stick it in the little palette and the palette is magnet so it kind of just sticks right in look at how beautiful the colors are so many pretty colors. Yeah, we'll go in with this light brown color to go all over the I I mean to go all over the eyelid first. These brushes are super soft. But it's cute. There's that. I'm gonna cut my crease and then add a different color in the middle. Maybe the shimmery pink one down here. just pack it on wow that's super pretty I'm not a fan of like shimmery colors or like shimmery eyeshadows I am just in love with matte eyeshadows but this one is gorgeous um, I'm gonna go back with this brush and keep blending that's very pretty okay so I also found talking about shimmer eyeshadows 
more of the Stila liquid eyeshadows. I found this color Queen. You guys, these are my favorite like eyeshadows to use for the inner corner because it just gives it that like extra look to it. But you guys need to see. Sorry, you guys need to see these colors. Look at that. It's they're so blinding. They're super pretty. This one is in the color Queen. I also found this one, Funset Cove. It's also like a purplish pinkish. Oh wow, they look the same. I think one's a little bit more lighter than the other. That's that one. I found Fairy Tale, which is like a all glitter, like gray glitter. super pretty I was gonna go ahead and use one in my inner corner but since I already used like a shimmer eyeshadow I'm probably not going to this one is in the color vivid garnet and it's more like a burgundy dark color this one's not so much on the glittery side but it's also a beautiful metallic color and this one is vivid smoky quartz which is also, I think, more on the metallic side. Not so much on the shimmer. Put it over here. But that I feel like that first, and then put the second one on top of the first one, it would look very pretty. So, that's that. I am in love with these. These are $7.99, but if you go online at like Ulta, retail for 25 bucks. So I feel like that is a steal. And I also found this Peach Frost. Uh, this one actually I got at TJ Maxx for $10.99. It obviously smells like peaches. My favorite. The packaging is gorgeous like always. And it's just like a, like a creamy highlighter. Melting powder highlighter. But it's more like creamier. And it smells so good. So we'll use that. And then I also found um, Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. So we'll use that as well. I'm going to go in with some liquid eyeliner. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner to do my wing. There is a um, another liquid eyeliner that I want to try from NYX. I believe it's the matte liquid liner. Just because my eyelids get very oily. Like, I have very oily eyelids. There's that. I'm going to let that dry. We're going to try out the bronzer. Here's the bronzer. It looks very pretty. The only thing that I don't know if I'm going to like is that it's like it has like little shimmers. But we'll see. Here we'll go in with this one. So it does give it like a little shimmery color to it. I don't want to go in too much with it. Because I don't want it to be so dark. It's okay. It's not bad bad. Okay. So let's try the highlighter. I don't know. It smells really good though. It's 
try the other side. Hmm. It didn't do much. I'm going to go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. One of my ultimate favorite mascaras. I just love how the brush applies and how how it gives it volume. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll get back and we'll do um, the lips. Okay, so I finished the other eye. Um, this is what it came out, came out to look like. I'm just going to go ahead and do my lip and I should be done. I'm going to go in with my EOS lip balm. I'm gonna go in and savage today. I love how soft they feel. Now I'm just gonna go on and do my hair and get going so yeah thank you guys for watching another one of my videos um like always like let me know what you guys think and i'll see you on my next one bye